Hey everybody, this is Jeff at Build a Recording Workshop, and uh, today we are going to talk about this Blue Ocean Hang On Protein Skimmer that we got. Um, it came in yesterday, and all we had time to do was put it together. So here we go, this is it. We have um, a Backpack 2 skimmer by CPR uh, uh, that's used. It's a, we bought it new, but it's it's been around for a few years, so we needed to buy something brand new. This is, the I guess, the new and improved one, so that's what it looks like. So um, it came in pieces, of course. Uh, there's not much to do. Here's the pump in terms of putting it together. And the pump right here is the EX250. That's what came with it. I'm not familiar. It's by uh, Odyssea. I'm not, I, I know the name brand, but I'm not familiar with the pump. Um, I don't buy pumps all that often, but uh, we'll see how good it works. Now, one of the big things that I heard about this on the reviews was is that there's no micro bubble trap, which the CPR does have. Uh, this one has this little angled piece, uh, so I don't know if we're going to need it. But I've heard that, according to the reviews, that uh, one person said they had to make a bubble trap. The other person said uh, that the bubbles work, the, the micro bubbles work themselves out in about a week. And the person who made the micro bubble trap said that the micro bubbles stopped after a week. So I'm thinking that maybe it's just a breaking period, and we probably don't need to do anything for it. So we're going to go ahead and rinse this off, uh, wash out the inside this this container and we'll come right back we'll hang it on and we will plug it in to our uh, rimless show tank and start skimming hopefully we'll see um, usually it, there's a break in period as well okay so we'll be right back okay so we've rinsed out our skimmer and the collection tray and now what we're going to do is um, we make sure it, it doesn't leak uh, but the seals haven't really been tested since I had to put on the intake and the return this big return tube I had to tighten them both of them and they did come with these uh, o-rings to prevent them from from leaking so uh, we know notice that this it has two adjustment levers down below uh, for raising it you know making it even uh, against the glass and the problem with this is, is it did come with a third one like the CPR backpack too however there's nowhere to put it up above whereas the CPR backpack 2 does have uh, a place for one of these to kind of level it out um, against the glass. So uh, we're going to get you a closer up view. We're going to plug it in right now and I did fill it up most of the way with uh, RODI water and the reason for that is that I noticed the tank was running a little bit high. We did reach that water change. It's 1.027. I'd like it to be around maybe 1.026. It's not a big deal but I put um, RODI anyway so it won't have to suck up as much water because as you can see the pump is right here and it's going to start sucking down water probably pretty quick. So if we add water, then the good news is it probably um, won't suck the water down too low. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug it in for you, and I'm going to get you a closer shot up of it working and hopefully not leaking or anything like that. Okay. Okay, so here we are. I've plugged it in, and I turned the um, air injection nozzle all the way tight so that we're just looking at basically water coming in like a filter and going out. And the skimmer's not going to stay on the front of the tank, of course. We just did this for the demonstration today. The, the skimmer will go on the back side of the tank. Now, we did notice it has a really good flow rate. Uh, so you'll see that uh, probably because of the pump. So I'll try to get you in here where you can see. There you go. So you can see that it is um, a really nice flow rate. We turned off the canister filter because the canister was working against it and it was blowing things around. So we don't want that. So we went ahead and turned the canister off. So that's pretty good. So the next thing to do is to go ahead and uh, right here is the air injection nozzle and all you have to do is turn it, which the skimmer does work. Um, and you can see it's got lots of micro bubbles there. Okay, there's the side of it. And here's the thing, okay? So most of you would think, here's the water pump. And in the side there, it's capped. Okay, I uncapped it and I put, of course, the tube, the air injection hose into there like you would think. It does not go into there and that's the reason why I couldn't get any bubbles. So what I did is I went ahead and put the injection tube. You get this piece right here and there's three areas you can plug it into. It doesn't really matter which one. So I plugged it into one of those and figured, because this is the intake and that's where the water shoots up. So it made sense to go ahead and put the tube there. I've never seen that before but that's just this particular water pump. Now that's where the little piece that you saw goes this right here which is nice to have okay so that I'm gonna slip back on there but I just wanted to show you without it so that you could actually see where does that in air injection hose go so that you can get the micro bubbles these fine bubbles which is what you need in order to 
to get the skimmer to start working, uh, especially up there in the collection tray. We want to see anything going up there. Now, now I'm just going to adjust the height to that, play around with it. I've got the little O-ring right there. You can move it up or down so this, this box can go up or down. It can only go down to here anyway because the bottom of the tray will hit there. So that's the lowest it can go. But usually you have them stepped up a little bit. Okay, And then you can see it has a good return flow. The only thing I didn't like about it is that these adjustment, uh, little adjustment pieces that go, sorry, right there on the side you can see these little adjustment pieces for the leveling. Uh, the third one, there is nowhere to put it. I can't find anywhere to put it. And so this, you know, right here, can, the top portion of it can slide backward or forward. Of course, it can only slide so far back before it hits the tube anyway, but then it'll be hang, you know, the skimmer will be hanging like that if you look at my hand rather than being straight. So that's the only criticism I have so far of it. What we'll do is we'll do a follow-up video once uh, we haven't skimmed this tank. We just did a water change yesterday, and so now it's time to go ahead and, and see if we can skim anything. There might not be anything to skim, not much, and that's okay too, and you know, we'll turn it off, but we know eventually we're going to need it, and we'll be skimming uh, here and there. And of course, one thing I do like about this is it gives you a big chamber if you want to go ahead and put uh, like carbon. You could actually just turn off the bubbles or leave them on and put a big bag of carbon in there. I have that set up on the CPR backpack too, a big bag of carbon. And I just take it out, put it in. Uh, and you can do that with pads. You know, they make pads that will take strip uh, heavy metals and other, other things like that out of your tank. You can put them back there, and this has a great flow rate, okay? So it's really not like the other skimmers where the water drops down and then you have a net to capture any bubbles, okay? So here's, that's it, it's working. And you can see there's a lot of fine bubbles, maybe you can't, there's a lot of fine bubbles in the tank. So hopefully that will go away. We will fill up the tank with more water to get it higher up, uh, which is another problem, but maybe we can find a piece of tubing to, to, to lower this down into the tank. Um, that we might go with that option as well okay thanks everybody for watching any uh comments please um put them down uh, if any of you have had an experience with this blue ocean hang on protein skimmer um if not at least uh, now anybody who's thinking about using it it's a great buy i picked it up on ebay it was 70 dollars total it's free shipping so uh, awesome very awesome for a hang on skimmer okay so we'll see how it works in a follow-up video all right everybody thanks for watching have a great day